was almost dawn when I arrived in Marseille. I traced Condor Transglobal to a desolate dockside. What's the big idea? I don't know. The dog went berserk for no apparent reason. He's trained to do that. The idea is to deter any would-be intruder. Oh, I get it. Okay, I'm sorry. That's okay. Just remember, he's a trained attack dog. A killer! Hi, good morning. Do you know what time it is? No, I don't wear a watch. As my dad used to say, I'm not into time, man. Well, you're too early. Oh, it doesn't matter. The stick had a hook on one end. I figured it was a boat hook for hooking boats. I just knew that boat hook would be useful for something. As for the bottle, even if I couldn't find a use for it, I cleaned up the dock a little. Ouch! That's hot! The bottle was half filled with water. Maybe it would cool the cone down enough to touch it. Now I could see into the pipe which formed the chimney. Hmm. The bottle had blocked the chimney. And the hut was filling up with smoke. The packet was full of dog biscuits. Someone had once told me a piece of coal brought you luck. Who was I to argue with irrational superstition? Here, boy, have a nice crunchy biscuit.
I felt a slight twinge of conscience as I prepared to give the dog a dunking. It soon passed. As I'd expected, the dog could swim like a, well, like a dog. A sturdy chain and padlock hung around the door handles. The din must have drowned out the sound of my knocking. Maybe there was a way in up there. That did the trick. The fan clunked and shorted out as its blades were mashed by the boat hook. Hey, you make any more noise, I break your arms. That bully needed to be taught a lesson. Garzak's already mad because we didn't get the stone. You give me any trouble, I'll tell him it was all your fault. Karzak? That must be his boss. My name is Stobart, George Stobart. What do you want? I want to return your spider. I pulled its legs off, which is exactly what I'm going to do to you. I got the feeling he wasn't too pleased to see me.
The only interesting thing I found was a small brass key. The guy had a blowpipe. That confirmed my suspicions about what had happened to Nico. I waited for him to shoot me, but it didn't happen. Instead, he seemed to want to tell me something. Uh... What? What do you want? Uh, uh... He seemed excited, almost desperate. What did he want so bad? Hi! I'm not going to hurt you. Guaramonte. Was that your name? Guaramonte? Uh, Guaramonte. His vocabulary seemed a little restricted. What does this key unlock? Huh? Hey, you're manacled. Who did this? That big thug? I'm gonna set you free, okay? The little guy had gone to ground amongst the stack of crates. Just in time. Interrupting the beam of light kept the doors from closing and stopped anyone from using the elevator. But what now? The little crate was precariously balanced. The little crate was pre There. That would keep the doors from closing. There was an arc-shaped scratch on the floor, as if a door had been opened in the nearby wall. My fingers traced the outline of a secret door in the wall. Then I found a small round stud, which was set flush to the surrounding wooden paneling. Just as I'd hoped, a secret room Nico! <laughs> Hold still. This might hurt a little. Ow! Think yourself lucky you don't have a mustache. Thank God it's you, Georges. How did you find me? I'll explain later. We have to get out of here. Where's Pablo? The big guy. Out cold. Too much wine doesn't agree with him. Are you okay? Of course I'm not okay. Untie me this instant. There. How are you feeling? Oh, thanks, Georges. How on earth did you find me? I knew Ubié had been in Marseille. But never mind about me. How about you tell me exactly what's going on, starting with that Mayan stone? I picked it up from one of Kazakh's men in Paris. I was expecting a consignment of narcotics. Drugs? Yes. The proof I needed to expose Kazakh's smuggling operation. I'd set it up to act as his courier, and once I had the proof, I planned to go straight to Inspector Mu. But instead of the dope I'd expected, they sent me that stone instead. 
And to find out more, I called Professor Oubillet, who invited me to his mansion. At least, I thought it was Oubillet. I don't get it. If Karzak's business is drugs, why is he so desperate to get his hands on that stone? Maybe it has some significance to the local people in Central America. It could be Karzak's means of getting them to work for him. Anyway, we've got to get out of here. Nico, wait! We can't use the elevator. If that thug Pablo is recovered, he'll be waiting for us. We've got to do something. Where does that door lead to? I'm not sure. Hopefully, the tape would prevent those doors from closing and stop the Indian from being able to call the elevator. rose about six inches off the floor, and I said a silent prayer to whoever had discovered the power of hydraulics. What on earth are you doing? Trying to raise the statue so I can hook it to that pulley. Is that really going to help us? I like to keep myself occupied in times of stress. The statue looked way too heavy for me to move. It was too heavy for me to move on my own. Could you give me a hand to push this statue? What for? This, my dear, is our passport to freedom. If you say so, dear. Okay, push! <sighs> Great teamwork. Nice to be working with you again, Mr. Stobart. Nico, I have a great idea. George, where have you been? Never mind that. Do you have the Mayan stone? Maybe I have, but, uh... Don't argue, André. Give the stone to George. Well, of course. If you say so, Nicole. Thank you so much, André. George, he told me you'd been kidnapped, my dear. I'm glad to see he was mistaken. Oh, but it was true. If it hadn't been for George, I wouldn't be here now. That's not finished yet. 
Karzak's thugs will be back for that stone, you can bet. That little guy kept saying Coromonte. Perhaps the name is significant. Coromonte? It's in Central America. That's where Ubier gets his artifacts. That's all we needed to know. Come on, Georges. 